I wanted to just highlight um, the medical risks from a couple of these items that we've been talking about this morning. Um, we, uh, for example, with these these water beads that the senator um, spoke of earlier, they're very cute and they can be used as a sensory toy. Um, and um, the challenge is that they swell up markedly. Um, sometimes um, th these are bigger, but occasionally they can be much, much bigger than that, even one and a half to two inches large. They are soft when they absorb water, um, which seems like they shouldn't pose any particular danger. However, um, when they get into um, all the places where kids tend to put things, uh, ear canals, nose, if they swallow them or inhale them, they can be so large as to cause obstruction. So um, one of those tiny beads placed in an ear canal, and we see so many children who put things in places, that's it's a normal developmental thing. Um, we don't worry so much if it's a um, a real bead from a bracelet, and we can get that out, um, or a, a kernel of corn or something like that. But these are highly, highly dangerous. They can swell to the point that they cause pressure against the eardrum. They can cause obstruction of the nasal passage, obstruction of an airway, and if, and if a number of them are swallowed, they can cause bowel obstruction and kinds of infections in the abdominal cavity. Um, Button batteries, um, again, um, we speak about these every year. Um, they, they power all kinds of things, um, from toy watches to uh, channel changers to, um, I guess we wouldn't take them out of our phones typically, um, but uh, it's very, very, very important, not only to be aware of the danger that they pose, um, but the time frame in particular with button batteries. Um, it, Within an hour, even, a button battery, if it's lodged in the esophagus, can, can cause um, necrosis or death of the adjacent esophageal tissue. Even batteries, and I, this is really important to know, because you may take out a battery from one of these um, objects to replace it with a new battery and think that because the, the old one doesn't work anymore, it has no current, and that is, um, completely false. It has maybe not enough current to operate the instrument, but it does still cause a current and chemical reaction that burns through the tissues. Um, it can cause uh, necrosis, meaning eating through the, the wall of the esophagus and into the central tissues of the inside the um, middle of the chest, causing a, it can erode into large arteries and cause life-threatening um, or fatal bleeding. Uh, infections, um, long-term damage that can result in either death or the need for multiple surgeries and very extended hospitalizations. It's important not only to not leave button batteries laying around, but never have anybody young replacing them. Make sure that the, the um, spaces in the instruments that hold the batteries are always tightly, tightly secured so that they can't even accidentally be removed and left anywhere. Um, and one thing that we haven't mentioned yet, um, but I would call um, to mind, is um, magnets, magnetize things. So um, in, in the last um, 10 to 20 years, there's been a proliferation of um, magnets, uh, particularly small, round maggot magnets that can be used in little artistic displays or um, little stress relievers for grown-ups to play with. Um, they, they're pretty. They're kind of... Cool. I mean, I like magnets. Every, I think a lot of us um, who had them in school when we were kids like them. They're not meant to be swallowed. Um, a single magnet, a single small magnet is probably not of any large concern. However, more than one magnet can cause serious damage. So two magnets that are able to work their way down into the GI tract and into the intestine in, in one a magnet on one side can attract itself and attach to a magnet on the other side of a loop of intestine, for example, and catching tissue in between them and causing, again, pressure damage and necrosis that can actually erode through the wall of the intestine, um, leading to a bowel perforation and an intra-abdominal infection. These, I don't say, discuss these things to 
terrorize people, but to, to remind them that these are, these are the serious consequences of some of these items. Happy to answer questions afterwards.